Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi guys. We made again in this video of chapter 5. We will continue our lesson on subtopic 5.2, Definite Integral. The learning outcomes of today's lesson is to determine the value of the definite integral. Let's try the first example. The integration from 3 to 8 said 1 plus x dx. First thing, we have to change the third form into index form. So 1 plus x to the power of half dx. Next, we have to integrate. 1 plus x to the power of half become 1 plus x to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. So it will be here 2 over 3 dx. Next, we substitute the limits. So we get here 2 times 1 plus 8 to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 minus 2 times 1 plus 3 to the power of 3 over 2 over 3. By using your calculator and calculate, you will get the answer 38 over 3. Done. Next question. So the integration from 0 to 3, 2 minus x times x squared dx. First thing, we have to expand the expressions. Therefore, we will get here 2x squared minus x to the power of 3 dx. Next, we integrate the expression. We get 2x to the power of 3 over 3 minus x to the power of 4 over 4. Next, we have to substitute the limit. The upper limit minus the lower limit. By using your calculator, you will get the answer negative 2.25. Done. Next, this is an extra question for you. So solve the integration of absolute x minus 1 with respect to x from 0 to 4. First thing, if we have this question, we have to define the absolute value. I will have here absolute x minus 1, x minus 1 and negative x minus 1. x minus 1 for x minus 1 greater or equal 0. Negative x minus 1 is for x minus 1 less than 0. I simplify these expressions. I'll get here x minus 1. For x greater or equal than 1, negative x minus 1 for x le less than 1. I will show everything in this number line. So the first one, for x greater than 1, so 1 is here, greater than 1. So the absolute will be positive x minus 1, while for x neg for negative x minus 1, the absolute will be negative x minus 1. Next, we'll put the limit. So since we have the limit is from 0 to 4, so put here 0 and 4. We notice that our integration for from 0 to 4 for x minus 1 dx will be split into two parts. The first one is from 0 to 1 negative x minus 1 dx plus with the integration from 1 to 4 for positive x minus 1 dx. We'll get here x squared over 2 minus x put negative outside 
So integration is from 0 to 1 plus x square over 2 minus x from 1 to 4. Then we put the limits. We'll get here. All right. Next, by using your calculator, you will get the answer 5. Done. Here are some exercises for you. And try all the exercises. Thank you, guys.